Hello everyone, this is the Qt Creator ID and I'm gonna show you the YSO plugin I wrote for it. Let's first disable, let's go to Qt Creator plugins and disable the built-in Python editor because I'm gonna show you a Python file. It's unchecked and please, if you want to try this out, check the YSO editor. You need to, uh, first you need to build it and install it here. Afterwards, you can come to the Qt Creator Preferences and choose the YSO tab. You can see there are many languages here, D, Go, and Python. This is because uh, the YSO is a multi-language engine, so once you install it, you get all of the supported languages for free, out of the box. I plan to, eventually, I plan to add other languages as well. Go uh, is in better shape than, Py than D, and Python is in better shape than Go. Standard options here. Let's open a Python file, uh, classes.py, this is one of Qt Creator's own files, and although I'm, this is a plugin for Qt Creator, I'd like to remind you that the YSO engine is completely agnostic of a particular ID or text editor. It should be quite simple for you to write an, uh, a plugin for any other ID or text editor. This one is around a thousand lines of code, and a lot of them is to write Qt Creator's interface, boilerplate code, and uh, and I can help you if that's the case. Uh, actually, I'd be glad to help if you want to write a plugin for any other ID or text editor. You can see that things are highlighted, class names, function names, member names. Uh, you should get syntax errors, completion, I'll add one more, blah, blah is there, cool. Let's create an object of this lib type. You can see there's also some Python built-in stuff here. And what about instance members? I expect to see X and Y here now. Okay, they're there. We can also try uh, importing some stuff. There's one file in this directory which is called build Uchus. It has this function check as build, check compile, and a few others. I'm gonna try to import it. Build Butchers is there. The check functions are there. Cool. We can also try to do a selective import. Check compile. And check compile should be here. Let's rename one of those functions just to make sure that it works. Uh, check compile once more. And now I don't get anything. Cool, it's there. Let's import everything from this module. Uh, there was a, another check function, checklist build. Cool, there was uh, what? Run verify. Everything's there. Uh, okay, so this is it. This project is in conception. It's not uh, ready to replace an industrial Python IDE. So please be patient when you find bugs, and, but feel free to report them to me and I'll be glad to take a look at them. And just notice that uh, there's a lot of incomplete stuff still. and some Maybe you will face something that's actually a feature that's not implemented yet. And... Uh, well, I guess this is it. Thanks for watching, and as I said before, I'd be interested uh, in helping anyone who would like to write a plugin for any other IDE or text editor, and even to introduce a new language, actually, or if you have a prior a feature priority uh, list, please let me know, and I, I'm, I'll, I'll try to consider it. Thank you.